guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube makeup tutorial. I am very excited about this. I've just done my everyday, very basic, quick and easy makeup routine. So let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. So first up, and I think a lot of uh, beauty tutorials don't mention this, start with a really clean face and clean hands because otherwise you're transferring dirt and you can get zits and all that stuff. So um, I, I'm always clean skin, moisturized, uh, usually with an SPF in it. Even though you might not think primer is um, a basic product and that it might be used only for, I don't know, red carpets or evenings, I actually use primer every day because this one has SPF in it and it holds your makeup in place, stops you getting uh, oily, shiny patches. Um, it is, in my opinion, even more important than foundation. So just a pea-sized amount, maybe a large pea, and distribute that evenly. That is the Laura Mercier one. All the products will be linked to below and they'll also be on a special plate, they'll also be linked to on a special page on my blog, louisrow.com, which is also linked to. So, primer is a good start. This guy, Barley Body SPF 15, um, is a BB cream really, but it kind of multitasks and it gives um, a nice, even coverage. And on a day like today, when I don't really want to wear a heavy foundation, this is a really good product to use. Again, large P. Everything's going to be related to fruit and vegetables when I talk about size. Don't forget your neck. So instead of a liquid foundation, I have been trying lately this product. It's a clay stick by Tarte, and you can just use it under your eyes or to get rid of blemishes, or you can use it all over and blend it in like a foundation. You can either put it onto a brush or onto your fingers or straight onto your face. Blender, still my favourite. Don't forget to put it on your eyelids as well, or blend what you put underneath your eye on top of your eye, because that sets a really good base for any eyeshadow. Oh, and big tip, if you haven't used these guys before, make sure you use them wet. So run them under the tap and then squeeze them out so there's no more drips, and then use them. If you use them dry, they will actually absorb a lot more makeup than you want them to. Next up is this Blur Stick by Milk. Again, a new product that I just discovered. Um, and you can use it, again, like a concealer or to highlight areas um, or even like a foundation. I just love these very light, glowy products that help conceal but don't make you feel like your freckles wouldn't show. And I think for everyday makeup, it's really important that your skin is still visible, if that makes sense. I'm not one for hiding under a mask of makeup. much blending this one okay so my skin is almost done um, I'm gonna use this product which I found in London this summer it's Rimmel Rimmel London uh, which is a super inaffordable um, sorry which is a super affordable product and one end is for contouring the other one is for highlighting so that's great I'm gonna show you my basic B contouring tips because nobody's got time to do half an hour of it and neither are they followed around by a camera crew and a ring light all day making sure that they look perfect. You all know that if you over contour, it can look a bit weird in daylight. So this is my limit pretty much. Right, suck in your cheeks. <laughs> down either edge of your nose, you can see that. You can do a lot more than this, but this is, I think, a good starter kit. And then a little bit of highlight. Yeah, you 
you can barely see it, but it does actually give quite a good effect. A little bit here. And then again, blend with a brush or your finger or your beauty blender. This part I like to do with my finger because it's more accurate. So you don't want to smush the colours together, you just want to go up and down in a straight line. Okay. Just gives a bit of definition. And then this part, again, see how professional I am. Not. Perfecto. Alright, so I've got a semblance of some cheekbones now. And I'm looking a bit more awake. Um, next up, I think I will do my brows. Brows are my most important thing. I think they frame the face and if you get them right, they can really lift your eyes and that would be my Desert Island um, product. So this is Burberry, but there are lots of really good ones out there. It's just important you get the right color. And some people use, um, a lot of makeup artists use a br uh, brush and um, a little powder, which is great too. I just like the stick because it's quicker. So, I just fill in a little bit and then it's always better to start small and you can add more. And I never do any underneath because you want to lift them as much as possible. The other tip with brows is not to go too far down here. You don't want to drag them down the face too much. You want to keep them lifted. And then two steps really to brows is the colour first and then the brow brush which sets them in the upward sprouty shape and that's the best part. Hello brows! Next I'm going to do cheeks. Now you can totally layer different bronzers and blushes. Um, I like to do different things according to the season, but I'm doing my basics today. So if I had to if I had to pick one product, it would be MAC and it's cheeky bronze. It's mineralizing bronzer um, with a bit of shimmer to it. I actually saw a girl in Spain in a restaurant wearing this and I just went up to her table and I was like, I need to know what's on your cheeks. I don't know if you speak English or not, but tell me and it was this. So, just a little bit, and then, because we've already done the um, contouring, I'll just add to this on top, and I don't go all the way down to the mouth. Nothing worse than having a different coloured neck to face. And then a tiny bit just around the hairline as well. Getting glowy, peeps. I can feel it. Okay. Um, again, speaking of glow and shimmer, I just love that look. And this is one of many of my favorite products to achieve a bit of a glow. So, this is a long comb. You can actually put this pretty much everywhere, which is again, a great product for bang for your buck and traveling. You just click it and the product comes out of the top and you can either put it on, in fact, I'll just put it straight on. So a little bit just on here. And then on the brow bone as well, nice and long. Just so those cheekbones catch the light. And that is about it for the face. Um, I'm gonna just finish with eyes and lips, but I do try to set everything. I don't like a very matte look, but there are a few products I love, um, including this by Terry. Um, it's a compact jewel powder and this is in beige nude and it's It is essentially a powder, but instead of mattifying it still keeps your glow But it keeps everything in place. So just a little dusting of that there are two colors in the palette that I kind of mix together um, And I just tend to do my t-zone and especially if you're going to be racing around working all day This is good to keep with you um, just for a top up because although I love a glow there's a difference between glowy and shiny and because this is just easy daytime makeup I'm just going to do mascara I'm not doing any eyeliner or any eyeshadow Monsieur Big this is really good one of my favorite mascaras actually that I've found so far 
and I use this on the top lashes and I have a bit of a weird way of putting it on. Instead of moving the brush, I move my lashes through the brush and I'm sure I make a silly face as I do it as well. Make sure you really go from root to tip, get the out, outsides, the insides, and the top couple of coats. And then on the bottom, I don't know about you guys, but my bottom lashes will touch my skin. So if I don't use uh, a waterproof mascara, this is Lancome as well actually, um, then I end up with black marks under my eyes, which ain't great. So just a little bit here. And then my little tip is either with a tissue or a finger, I just kind of uh, dab them, blot them to get off the excess. Okay, nearly there. Last stop, lips. I always think of face looks um, a bit odd color-wise without some kind of lip on it. And I swear by um, lip pencils and lip balm if that's all you've got time for. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's Bare Minerals and um, I line all the way around the edge and then inside as well. And then I'll put lipstick on top of that and it keeps it in place. Do the insides. Charlotte Tilbury, the queen of lipsticks. This one is Miss Bloomingdale's. I love it and it's matte. And that is it. <laughs>